We are a 50-year-old nonprofit educational ecosystem focused on empowering all students to discover their brilliance. There are so many students that struggle to learn in the traditional instructional methods for reading uh, or that, that fall through the cracks. Gross Literacy Partnerships takes good literacy instruction based on the science of reading into kindergarten through third grade classrooms in schools around our community. Kindergarten through third grade is when children actually learn to read before they transition in fourth grade to using their reading to learn. There are a lot of people that don't understand or don't see that there is a tremendous literacy gap in our in our students and in our adults in our community. Right now we know that there are approximately 41 to 44 million uh, adults in the United States who are designated as being functionally illiterate, meaning that they don't have uh, literacy skills beyond a third grade education in math, writing, and reading. If we could somehow bring the functional literacy rate up for adults to make sure that they're achieving at least a sixth grade level, we could add $2.2 trillion to, the, to our economy. Literacy is, is critical for every employer, right? And, and I don't care about the job. It is, it is fundamental, it's foundational. Um, whether it's on the shop floor, whether it's uh, you know, in management, whatever it might be, we see this. The ability to, for us to have a robust economy, again, goes to continuous learning and innovation and agility. Literacy is foundational for all of that, but we also want to have the strongest, most robust, and vibrant communities. So one of the big fallacies in Minnesota is that we have a great education system. However, there's 49 states that do a better job of having fourth grade black students read than Minnesota. If we don't have a quality education, starting with reading and starting with you know, Grove's literacy partnerships, we're never gonna make progress. So if we really wanna be an equitable society, we need to start with education. You might be surprised to know that the number one predictor of health and well-being is actually a high school diploma. Literacy is really important um, for the vibrancy of the economy. It's important for the health of the community. If we have a community that's not healthy, we're gonna invest a lot more resource in health care um, at a, the very point in time when we need to make other investments for the good of our, our community. So it requires partnership. Illiteracy puts a person at higher risk for mental health problems over time. So if a child is waking up every day anxious about going to school and about what they're going to be asked to do at school, that's a really difficult state to sit in day in and day out. And it's setting the tone for a really difficult academic experience. Both the effective reading instruction as well as teaching evidence-based instructional methods really helps kids bolster that coping efficacy. It gives them great confidence in their ability to handle the academic tasks that are put in front of them and that confidence that starts to build up can generalize. And you start to see it not only in academic tasks but also throughout day-to-day -day life. We're very good at talking about the existence of the problem, and it's a shame that the problem exists. Now we need to do something about it. Literacy is the building block to creating agency. You're unable to unlock those options. You're unable to go those, um, take those, those, those different journeys if you're unable to read. I can't think of anything more important than providing the foundational skill of being able to read and understand and comprehend language and information and then be able to internally know how to do that and communicate that to the rest of the world. That is our mission here is to make sure that we can build those transformative learning experiences and empower every student to discover their brilliance.